my last podcast. It's Turkey Week. Mm-hmm. Don't get fat. You don't want to get fat. I'm going to eat that food. Mm-hmm. There's going to be a lot of undone buttons this Thursday. Oh, dude, I'm yeah. already, my pants are already undone. <laughs> already. Already. I'm already. Mm-hmm. You know what? Thinking I, about it already is going to get yeah, you fat. Yeah, I'm already thinking about it. All the Thank turkey. God. Dude. So what? Y'all have any special plans going on? I'm going to see my grandparents. I'm going to down, which means they're also your grandparents. They are my grandparents. Yeah. So are you going to, are you, do you have any special plans? Yeah, do, you have any? <laughs> do I have any special plans? <laughs> special plans is hopefully if everything holds out true and nothing, to, you know, hits the fan, I should be alongside with you. Awesome. Right, yeah. Taking separate vehicles, but awesome. Separate vehicles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you want to show off that new one you got still. <laughs> My mom's going to go down, too. We're both going to be pulling the same. Right. <laughs> as long as your dad doesn't right, go, right. he's like... Pfft. I don't know. He might come down, too, so that all three of us would be it's there. It's going to be three identical cars and then his Jeep. <laughs> right, right. I don't even know how we're doing. Are we all going to... If you do come, are we all going to do it at their house? I don't even know, man. I mean, that's a small... I know. Especially like from... was like mine. Everything's done. Like, oh, by the way, we're going here. It's like, okay. I... We'll see, because this year... Okay, so so our grandparents live in two towns, approximately two. Uh, one is two hours from where we live, and the other is approximately three, three and a half ish hours from yeah, where we live. Yeah, right. Yeah. So, providing you're going the speed limit and traffic and shit like that, except for the final stretch there to the other. Yeah, one. that one that is dead as shit. Like just, Nobody's there. It's four yeah. lanes. Mm. Go for it. But you, it, it always can go back and forth between Thanksgiving for them. So it could be. Where they actually mainly mainly live now, which is about two hours away, and then where they sometimes they used to always live at, but now they're just you know whatever. But this year it's at the further the three hour three and a half hour away place is where Thanksgiving is going to be this year. That house is an old old house. It has four bedrooms, one bathroom. <laughs> yeah, two of the bedrooms are for were from add ons. Where the laundry room is used to be another bedroom. But this house is built, what, in the ni- early 1900s? Like it's 1930s something? Thir- 20s? Gotta be. And it was moved to the place it's currently at. It used to not be there initially. It got moved there. It is a very old rickety house. Any, anytime you, anywhere you step in the house, you hear it from the, the floor. Mm-hmm. Mm, fun. Especially going up and down stairs. Up and down the old rickety stairs. or eh, eh, eh. It's, it's literally, it's the stairs. Like... They didn't, for some reason, the way they built the stairs, and I'm talking about the regular stairs, not the part where it used to, it used to kind of wrap around and they walled that off and someone built regular stairs to mm-hmm. finish it off. But from not including those added on stairs, the main regular stairs, usually, you know how stairs, if they're made out of wood, they're two, they're like one solid on the mm-hmm. top and then one on the bottom, right? It's yep. typically how they are. And that's how they're, and they're put there. Mm-hmm. Not these. It is one, one, and then a little small piece of wood as the lip on the stair. And so okay. when you, yeah, so when you walk on it, those are all loose. So anytime you take a step, you feel the stair go and like it just <laughs> bends forward. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then you hear this, and I swear it gets worse every time I visit. It sounds like it may be time to change some stairs out. Mm-hmm. But and they're kind of steep. Yeah, they are actually for for and and, and not only are they like steep, church balcony steep. No. No, like not, not steeper. that steep. But. Steeper than those? Yeah. Those are already steep as hell as they are. Yeah. Well, because also the church has typical normal steps height. These are bigger height. Like, oh, I that's why. Okay. I would like, okay, so my apartment where I live at now, because mm-hmm. you used to live there, you know how easy it is to skip a step and yeah. go up? And if you really stretch, you can get three. Mm-hmm. I'd have, I can, I can verify when I go and I can let you know for sure. But I believe it's a stretch to skip one. Wow. Because they're actually pretty tall stairs. Pretty tall steps. Sounds like somebody doesn't know how to do their measurements right. <laughs> That's how those that house was built. And then the steps. People used to be shorter than they are now. But the the steps from where when it had to original originally a landing that went to the living room mm-hmm. before they walled it off. Those steps where they replaced mm-hmm. are normal size steps, like modern day size steps. Mm-hmm. And then the other steps that are the original steps from when the house was built are the steeper, the bigger steps. Wow. Mm-hmm. Sounds like I'm gonna have fun there dealing with those. Yeah, I don't know how this one's going for us yet. My grandmother passing obviously in October. Mm-hmm. We'll see how the first Thanksgiving without her is going to be. So we'll see. Because, but this, from what I understand, depending on if everything works out, this is going to be the first Thanksgiving where every single person on my mom's side of the family, like it'll be the first time everyone's going to be there in a long time, right? So if you go, I don't know if if uh, your sister's going or not. I don't know. They're they're in a toss up 
between because they usually uh, they'll alternate between her family, family and his family, and his family for as far as Thanksgiving and Christmas goes. So it did, I guess it really depends on that. Yeah, because see, depending on that, so far from everyone that I know is confirming to go there this year, it's gonna be the first time this big number of family has been there in years. So it's gonna be it's gonna be packed, especially in that place. Yeah, because when we you and I were kids, it wasn't that packed. We were but smaller. now that yes. Now that all of us are adults now, mm-hmm. yes. like I don't even know where I'm going to sleep, to be honest. I probably might sleep in the same bed as my mom because my dad usually comes down on Thanksgiving Day and leaves Thanksgiving Day. So I might be able to just bunk with my mom, which wouldn't bother me none. You which know? is why I'm glad my family lives close enough that we don't have to stay no nights nowhere. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We're all but, within like a 30-minute well, drive. Where, where, they, where they live, when they live two hours away, that's usually that, I, that, that one I'd usually do a day trip. But yeah. the other place is three and a half hours away. That's not like for for Thanksgiving at least. Because yeah, you're looking at six trip. hours just driving. Yep. And you're gonna spend at least five or six hours with family that day. So mm-hmm. it kind of defeats the purpose. And also too, with obviously Thanksgiving being after the time change, it gets darker earlier. Oh yeah, and then you know, and then when you're doing like I said, the six hour drive on top of staying up at least six hours with family, you're looking at twelve hours out of a twenty four hour day right there. Mm-hmm. And plus, obviously, the nap that always happens after a nice Thanksgiving meal. Yep, got to thank mm-hmm. that turkey for that. Technically, actually, did you know it's not the turkey that causes it, the tryptophan it's the in the turkey? The amount of food you eat. It's yes, yeah, the amount of food that you eat. Yep. Because all protein based food and starch based food have tryptophan in it. In order for the turkey to be able to make you go to sleep, you have to have a perfectly empty stomach. And you got to eat it a lot. And you have to eat a fuck ton of that turkey. And by the time that you would be able to feel any effects from the tryptophan itself, you're already going to be puking for the amount of turkey you ate. And it's basically it the same idea of the radiation in bananas. You will die from the radiation in bananas. You can't eat enough bananas to die of radiation poisoning. But you more than likely would die from over ingestion of bananas before you get to that point. And welcome to th- this week's episode of Andy. Useless Knowledge. Yep. On, and, on the it, Thanksgiving week, so while you're driving to go see your family, <laughs> as Josh coughs up a lung over there, <laughs> yeah. while you drive yeah. to he go may there. not make it. Y'all think <laughs> he he not make it. It. He's, he's going to die before then. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. uh, but or, uh, while or, you're, or while if you're he driving, does, if he does way, make it. Make sure it's turkey you're picking up. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. But uh, uh, not pre-soaked cranberry turkey right. breath. Uh, While well, you're on your way there, and listen to us talk about random knowledge and facts and shit. Any more random uh, Thanksgiving facts? Not that I can think of. No. Right. Oh, the major the the majority of uh, the reason that Thanksgiving turkey is either dry or it's also either uh, very very mushy mm-hmm. is because people over soak it in brine or they they shock it and it causes all the moisture to wick out or they cook it for too long because they didn't thaw it enough. You have to thought when it comes to turkey, you thought one day per four pounds. Some mm-hmm. people don't thought enough or they overthought. Some people, they soak it in a brine, which is nice because it initially shocks it and whips it all out and then brings it back in. But if you overdo it, you can, in fact, have mushy meat, which True. is not good. Which is also why you cannot always trust the little thermometer popper that pops out when it's mm-hmm. done in the turkey either. You need to check it yourself with a the thermometer. Yep, because there's been a time where we've cooked a turkey and we've checked it with an actual meat thermometer and it's come out perfect and that little popper thing still has not popped didn't that happen when you and i had thanksgiving together last year yep it never popped and did we actually overcook the turkey too i thought we overcooked it a little bit it was chris's first time making a turkey officially in that Uh massive setting so it was slightly overcooked but it wasn't bad still but But we did have plenty of other stuff to go with it yeah but with that a recommended way to have a nice turkey buy it from rudy's not yes, <laughs> but also another recommended way is to do a dry brine. Yep, my dad did one a couple years ago. That turkey came out really good. Mm-hmm. And you want it to sit in your fridge for a couple days, for at least yep. four days. But also, you if you're want to you deep also... fry your turkey, do not do it frozen. Mm-hmm. You won't catch some shit on fire. Yep, but you also you want to uh, break the spine of the turkey. Mm-hmm. and you want to lay it flat out because then you're going to get a proper cook all the way through because the faster you cook the turkey, the more moisture stays in. Mm-hmm. So if you cut it open and you splay it where breast sides up and you splay it down after you do yep. your dry rub and you put it in there, it's going yep. to cook a lot faster and you're going to keep most of the moisture. Yep. So there are your turkey facts. So hopefully while you're listening to this, you've already been doing the prep because you have literally four days 
until Thanksgiving, until it's time yep. to cook. Which, so in, which in some cases... That shit better already be thawed, and you better be starting to dry brine right fucking now. And if you or waited... At least, at least in the next two days. Right. Yes. At least. And if you are the procrastinator who waited to listen to this episode the day of Thanksgiving, well... Like I probably would be. Good luck. Yeah, well, it's too late for you if that's you, so... Yeah, sorry about you. Might as well go to Rudy's. Yeah, might as well go to Rudy's. Buy their turkey. It's always good. I've never had a problem with it. It's always good. Oh, it's moist and perfect mm. every single time. It is literally the only reason I like turkey. I used to hate turkey. I did too. I used to only show up to the family Thanksgiving and Christmas and stuff and, and only, only eat, eat the, the dessert. Ham. Like I would eat a little bit of ham, a little bit of turkey, yeah. maybe some mashed potatoes. My dad made his homemade mac and cheese. I might eat some of that. And then I'd go pick get, get out a little on, bit of everything just to be nice. Yeah. And, but then I would go and get all the desserts mm-hmm. and just pig out on all the desserts. Most and then I'd be done. What I find funny is in Thanksgiving, at least for our family anyway, Josh, is most of the time the desserts are store-bought desserts, mm-hmm. not homemade desserts, but everything else is homemade. Right. So usually sometimes, depending on who makes it, depending on who made it that year, mm-hmm. most of the time the desserts were the best thing because they weren't made. They were already store-bought. Well, you know how my dad's cooking is, so. Yeah. Ours come out pretty good every time. Yeah. Our, our grandfather... I love him to death, but sometimes, but he's really, he's good at cooking. Don't get me wrong. He can make a killer fucking brisket, you know, that almost can rival Rudy's. Mm. But, but sometimes he can be hit or miss when it comes to his turkey. Turkey can be a tough one if you don't know what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Or even if you do know what you're doing. Yeah. That's why you need to use all the precautions and think it through before you do it. Mm-hmm. Don't just go, oh, well, it's time to do it and just do it. You know, make yep. sure you have everything planned out. Yep. Nobody likes a dry turkey. Mm-mm. Yep. Even if you make the gravy, sometimes that turkey is just too damn dry. Yeah. And also, too, you could have a moist turkey, but depending on how you prep it, can make it flaky. And if it's flaky, then it's going to quickly dry out. The mm-hmm. meat's not going to taste the greatest when you for leftovers. It's going to have that weird grainy yep. taste to it that's synonymous with turkey. Yeah. Which tastes good during Thanksgiving, but the day after, you're like, fuck. Yeah, the reheat after the fact. Mm-hmm. But Rudy's, I've not had an issue with having to I've heat I've never that. had that either, but... I but know. also, I haven't had it sitting there for a couple of days and just trying to eat all the turkey before it yeah. goes goes bad. And they definitely know what they're doing because they smoke it really nice. Mm-hmm. And it comes but just perfect. make sure if you're buying a bird, make sure it's the right size bird for Or if you're hunting the family. bird. Yeah, make Some sure it's the right like to go size. Out and get the one, just mm-hmm. go out and get a fresh wild one. Yeah, just make sure it's the right size for your family for the feast, because last thing you want to do is have a fuck ton of leftovers left, uh, you know, and just be right. like, fuck. Yep. Yep. I have that happen a few times with my family. And I don't know how many times it's been like, OK, I've had turkey for every day for two fucking weeks. Mm-hmm. Can we get something different? No, the turkey's going to go bad. I don't care. <laughs> just throw out the fucking turkey. God damn it. In my personal opinion. I would I would make sure I had a turkey that was that was the perfect size, you know, for me. I'd rather have not enough. Because even when, even when we did it, uh huh, it was what the three of us. I think we only got like an eight pound turkey. Yeah, nine pound turkey. We, we intentionally got the smallest one we could mm-hmm. find, and it was perfect. Well, and also we didn't want to take all day to cook that shit. Yeah, depending on how large that turkey is. In fact, there's been a couple times with my family, it, the turkey's actually been cooked the day before. Yeah. Just so that way it's done by the time we get out. Because we do everything at lunch. A lot of people do it at dinner. We do ours all We kind of do. Our family kind of does it at lunch-ish. Yeah. Yeah. Mine's done at lunch. Even our Christmas stuff, we do it at lunch. That way the yeah. family can leave and go home See, for See, my family, relax. although for Christmas, we don't really have, like, our family all gets together for Christmas. We don't really do that. It's usually for Thanksgiving is when our all our family gets together-ish. Some years not. But Christmas, it's usually all spent at our own respective homes or with other members of the family yeah we got uh, we my, usually we usually have christmas dinner yeah what my, so my, my family's gotten to where like we'll do like the gifts and stuff for each other mm-hmm. but it's whoever's not in your household that year like me and my parents will do our thing and then we'll go wherever and then it, if my aunt and uncle has stuff for us and we'll get it from them then and stuff like that but that's better you know what, what you know one thing i like about our family is that remember how we used to do that draw the name from the hat thing all right you know you know why we stopped doing that not an idea. The reason we stopped is because all of us became adults and pretty much we were the ones that said fuck it. Pretty much. <laughs> that it used to be that, that's the whole reason why my family stuff has changed because it used to be like my cousin used to be the one she loved it, always giving out the presents and stuff. So we'd always save all the presents. We'd do it all in one big time and then we'd go eat and whatever. And then I started doing it and then I, me and her became adults and we like, fuck this. 
Let's just do you it. You just take care of your kids at your place. I ain't got kids to worry about. We just do our own separate things. We just do what we give for each other since we're not going to be together. See, we, we used to where you drew a name out of a hat and you had to get that person a gift. Is what it used to be. Yeah. And then and I think my family's adults, get, my, I think my family's getting where they want to play some of those get Christmas gift games and stuff like the see, the Shran wrap yeah. thing and stuff. Yeah. And then we became adults and it was kind of like kind of tired of doing that. Like I don't know what to get this person anyway. Mm-hmm. And I could ask them. Basically, I'm giving away a gift. Mm-hmm. already yeah or i could just be a dick and white elephant or something to him but yeah. it's like why like, and this is it after a while you're with your family all the time it's like okay you've got basically everything mm-hmm. because we're all adults now yeah, the main too, the main thrill was when you had kids yeah and also because you too, get kids new stuff all the time they're yeah, fucking happy we're 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 adults too and we're now at the age of where we're having our own families yeah, and then if you want something, so, you also have a good enough job. You can go buy what you need, when you yeah, need it. So you don't have like, to wait. Unless I want to give it to a cousin who's younger than me because it's you know, a second cousin. you know. Mm-hmm. If Unless I wanted to do that, which I don't really give a shit to do that anyway. Like, no offense, but I just don't. And also, too, I don't even know the kids that well because I don't ever go and see them. Mm-hmm. You know, like even though I think we only have one next, like, well, one that's an actual family with kids now that would be a second cousin to me mm-hmm. it's only your sister i believe right well then i heard the uh, the other two might have kids one of them has kids for sure the other cousin yeah, yeah i know the other one's possibly but yeah but one's a definite yeah your sister for sure definitely but i don't ever go see them mm-hmm. i think i've only seen what them whenever it's been all of us together I have never intentionally gone and go, oh my God. You know what I mean? Right. Because I'm not a, I'm not a kid's person, even though I worked in elementary school. I'm not a kid person. I don't I'm fine with kids as long as it's not for extremely long periods of time. Exactly. But I don't care to go out of my way and to go. And if they're my see, kids, oh my God. Yeah, I don't go out of my way to go see children either. Yeah. You know what I mean? And even I, if and it's I can't friends send teenagers or family. anymore. One of my good friends had a child. I have never seen their child. I've seen them. I've seen his fiance multiple occasions, but I've never seen their child. I didn't even go see him in the hospital. Like even even when uh, your sister had her first, I went to the hospital to see her. But after that, I never did because I'm just like, well, you did it again. Don't think you need me to go by. And, and, that, and nowadays, depending on how early in the day you have the child, they're going home the same night anyways. Mm-hmm. So I'm just like, I don't need to be there for it. You know, it's it's a natural it's thing. A kid. No, yeah, wow. I'll be I'll be there for mine. But that's because it's mine. I didn't create. And you this will see. Thing. And you will see that kid every day for at least mm-hmm. eighteen years. Yeah. So I'm like, don't really give a shit. That's if you don't kill that kid, like I might in some cases. Because there's some kill- kids on that cruise I was on. Oh, I was going to say you're going to kill my child. God damn, no, dude. No. At least, at least, at least you're telling me now, so I can. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm, I'm prepping. Yeah. You know now. Yeah. But yeah, like when I was back on that cruise back a while, there was some mm-hmm. kid running on there. That the way they acted, the way they talked. I'm like, if you were my fucking kid, you'd be swimming in the fucking Gulf right now. So, Josh. What's something you're thankful for? Thankful for family. Mm, g- generic. I like it. Generic. Yeah. yeah. Safe. Mm-hmm. What are you thankful for, Steven? That we're still going strong. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Still, yeah. Going. still going strong. Still. I'm thankful that I got a new car. Yeah. Yeah. You definitely needed that. You definitely of a needed that. I did. I it's did. a little bit more of a grandier car than we all anticipated, but you got a hell of a deal on it. You got really good fucking shit with it. So yeah, mm-hmm. it's a good car. It's definitely it a vehicle. Look, it still doesn't look that bad though. No, it doesn't look that bad at all. I'm glad I got the model year model I did, not the year model before. Yeah. Because the year model before is when it still kind of looked more grannyish. Yep. Yours and now is a they, bit more... they definitely more finessed it yeah. and, and, and lug luxified it. Yep. So I mean you got a really good one. Yeah. And it's gonna be good for your recording stuff if you need to transport mm-hmm. into your shit because you've got the hatchback you can open without your hands. Yeah. If you foot swing your foot. Yep. But so. speaking of vehicles, we saw that uh Chrysler trying to modernize their soccer mom van. It literally looks exactly like a soccer mom van, just slightly more modern chiseling on it, you know. But the side door that opens, you can now do it with your foot. And Chrysler did start putting vacuum cleaners built into it too, so it has a touchscreen display, which I'm like, naturally, it's going to get in because a federal law requires all vehicles now after 2017 to have a, a backup camera anyway. So you're going to need a screen anyway. So might as well make it an infotainment eh, system. Technically not. They can still put in the rearview mirror. This is true. Or they could do when I had that rental fusion a long time ago. It had a tiny little screen. Uh, like I said, I'm thankful that I have my car. 
Obviously, you're thankful that we're still going strong. Josh is thankful for family. Generic bullshit. Yeah, mm-hmm. Josh. Be original. Be original? Yeah. Then I'm thankful for my car. There we go. <laughs> yeah, there you go. You just yeah, got a new got, one. Not that long got ago. That, yeah. yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. And I'm still yeah. really thinking about getting a new one. Last thing, still going strong, though. That's good. Got a shitload of miles on it. The other one's still shit. Yeah. I don't want to pay the well, see, $2,500 when I, when, to like, fix it. Because when you, when you got back from your cruise, you know, when you, you mentioned that you were dropping off the rental, and I said a rental. Because I thought you may have took, taken one of yours, but then I remembered that your Mustang was still being used for your job for the person that you had mm-hmm. doing, you know, your job for you. Then I remembered also that your Fusion is just fucking shit. Yeah. So And I don't want to spend twenty five hundred dollars to fix it. So Yeah, so I'm like, yeah, that's a good idea. You didn't drive all the way to Galveston and back. They gave us a free upgrade. Forgot to tell you that back then, but yeah. Give us a free upgrade to a twenty twenty Nissan Altima. And it when I got it back home, when I right after I picked it up right before we left, I believe it had a hundred and fifty eight miles on it. I dropped it back off with just under fifteen hundred miles on it. Very well. Thank God for unlimited miles when you rented it. <laughs> mm-hmm. If you want to, you can hit us up on our Instagram at Flatlands the podcast. You yep. can hit us up on Twitter, Flatlands. Flatland. It, sorry, podcast Flatland yep. podcast. It's been too long since we've apparently <laughs> plugged ourselves <laughs> yeah. on our episodes, uh, unfortunately. Email us at Flatlands. Flatland. No, sorry, Flatland. No S. Flatland the podcast at gmail.com. Find us on uh, YouTube at Flatlands Podcast as well. Mm-hmm. Comment and comment uh, on anywhere you listen. Rate yeah. us five stars on anything that you do listen to us that allows you to, because I know Spotify yeah. does not. And also, too, let us know what your Thanksgiving plans are, what you did for Thanksgiving, and what you're thankful for. That. Yeah, mm-hmm. and what you're thankful for this uh, this holiday season. Don't, don't give us none of this generic bullshit. Yeah, Josh like just gave family. Us. God, Josh. I'm family. glad you're thankful yeah. for me. Yeah, yeah. Really, yeah. I, it is nice I'm that you're thankful, thankful for your that you're family, thankful but, for me. Yeah, I am thankful that Josh is thankful for me, but. And I'm thankful for you too, Josh. I love you, bud. Yeah, uh, y'all and, both and, and if y'all awesome. weren't thankful for each other, mm-hmm. then we wouldn't be going strong. <laughs> exactly. Which is what I was thankful for. Yes. So it all works out. So his generic bullshit is helping is mine. helping yours <laughs> right. to be. And exactly. then that makes me thankful that we're still going strong, which means I'm thankful for you. Exactly. Exactly. So we're all thankful for each other. So we yes. got this. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're good now. All right, Josh, we forgive your generic. All right. Okay, yeah, we forgive right. it. Yeah. yeah. I take back my fuck you. All right, okay. I love you, boo. I, I guess we'll, we can allow everybody else to send us generic. <laughs> there you go. Okay, you can you yeah. can send us generic. Since his worked too. out so well. But also, I'd like to hear some Thanksgiving horror stories. To be honest, I don't have any personally. I don't either. I, don't. Do you, I know there are some out there. Yeah, but if yeah. you have a Thanksgiving horror story, or, I would love to or hear funny, it. Or funny, funny stuff because I yeah. saw a video off America's Funniest Home Videos a long time ago when I was a lot younger, where the parents cooked the turkey and they kept like the stuffing and everything in it, mm-hmm. but they forgot. Well, well, you normally put the stuffing if you cook it in the turkey. Mm-hmm. They forgot to take the the, the giblets, giblets and stuff and, out of the turkey. Yeah. And the daughter thought that it had a baby inside of it. And uh, she started crying because she thought it was pregnant. And they cooked a pregnant turkey. Yep. So, I mean, if you got funny stories, people dropping and throwing out windows. I've seen those videos too, you know. Mm-hmm. Let us know those. Yeah, for yeah. sure, for sure. And we're gearing ourselves up for a, hopefully a good holiday season. Yep. And uh, it'd be and safe. And don't kill anybody this Black Friday. Yeah. Don't beat the yeah. shit out of each other. Yeah, be safe. Be safe Have and just do it like smart. I do. Don't get scammed on Cyber Monday for I sure. I was going to say, do what I do and just wait till Cyber Monday and mm-hmm. don't get scammed. It's yeah. easier than getting black eyes and getting the shit beat out of you for all, all oh, over yeah, a, a 20% marked up TV. Yep, because they mark it up just to make it sound like it's on sale. They mark it up literally like a week price. or two before. They the slowly do it too. Yeah, mark it up. So you don't know. And then the bring sale, it back to normal price. Yep, the sale price becomes the normal price. And then, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. Just Amazon everything. Just go Amazon Prime. Just buy it all year round. Fuck it. Yep. Fuck the sale days. They mark all that shit up. Right. Yep. But all right, everyone. Well, you hope you have a happy and safe Thanksgiving and or Black Friday. If, yeah. Or if you're celebrating any other holiday this time of year, which don't worry, we are not going to spend the frozen night of Thanksgiving night at Cabela's this year either. We Thank will be you. two years in a row of not doing that. Yeah, I was going to say. No, it's two years. I thought it's been two years been two years since we did you had to drive back to where you live because you were still living with your parents that's right yep it was right before i moved that's right yep yep yeah so yeah two years ago we did that we're not doing it again this year so don't worry about it we did not win a free gun that year so no he froze my ass off Mm -hmm. yeah he went to my place and grabbed thermals 
I had literally had to leave to get thermal because yeah. I was freezing my right. ass off. And because all we I got was, was honestly what, not expecting off of. Yeah, I was not expecting us to do that. And then next thing I know, we're fucking doing it. All right. And yeah. I'm like, I got, I'm freezing. All right. Yeah. Because you showed up in shorts, didn't you? No, you I, still, were wearing I had pants. pants too. I had pants on, I think. No, you were wearing shorts. That's right. And you came back in my uh, army's Because it was pants. warm. It was warm that day. It was warm that but day. But the cold front came in that, that night. night. Yeah. And they didn't have enough heaters to put around the little line because we wanted to be the first 50 people to get the coupon thing or whatever. Mm. Yeah. But all right, everyone. Well, thank you for listening to Flatlands, the podcast. I'm Jonathan. I'm Steven. And I'm Josh. And we will see you in December. Woo!